What everyday skill becomes suspicious if you're too good at it? Recognizing faces, I was approaching the check-in counter of a hotel I didn't remember being in before when the desk clerk welcomed me by name. I was visibly startled, his co-worker explained, he's got a freakish memory. I checked later, I had been there three years ago. In his job, with the thousands of faces he sees a year, that is a little disturbing. Being calm. People accuse you of being cold if you're not as agitated as they are. Shuffling cards. Him. Wanna play cards? Me. Sure. Gambit routine with lightning speed. Him. Not for money, right? Knowing where people keep items on their person. Friend will be looking for his keys or phone and I'll know what jacket pocket he left it in. I once had a neighbor catch me while I was taking groceries out of my car and ask if I knew how to open locked doors as they locked themselves out by mistake. Went over to their door, took out a credit card, and shimmied my way in in no more than five seconds. Probably was bittersweet for them. My boss locked herself out of the shop last week and I did this. We're getting new locks in a security system now. But if you had told her how easy it is a week ago, she wouldn't have given a crap. Seeing is believing. Walking silently. It's always a good skill to have to be able to be quiet in a moment's notice, but do it too well and you start appearing behind people and freaking them out. How long have you been there? Type things. My SO's parents' house has hardwood floors that everyone just stomps around on. I don't like making noise when I walk, so according to them, I sneak around their house and scare them unintentionally sometimes. Being able to quickly convert between ounce and gram. I can easily convert 100 bills into grams. A couple of years ago, I locked my keys in my car in a Walmart parking lot. I went in and asked if they could help me. Two employees came out with a jimmy. The one guy made a bet with the other that he could unlock my car in under a minute. He then proceeded to unlock my car in 15 seconds. I told him, thanks, you must have a lot of practice, to which he laughed and walked away. Eavesdropping. I just passively listen to other people a lot when I'm alone, even if I'm doing something else. It gets really embarrassing when you bring up information you heard from their conversation forgetting that you weren't involved, or when you laugh at a joke said by someone across the room. Edit. My previous grammar frustrated me. Genuine kindness. My father was such a good soul and people were suspicious about his kindness sometimes. I had a boss who was pretty much Mr. Rogers. It took a while to get used to it. We still work with each other sometimes and I still occasionally think he's being a sarcastic butt when he's definitely not. Tying a noose. At basic training I got tasked to help the drill sergeant create their haunted house. Battalion competition. Long story. My drill asked if anyone knew how to tie a noose and I whipped out a perfect one in only a few seconds. He just looked at me and said, Private? What the F? I don't think it's really an everyday skill, but being able to tell somebody by the sound of their footsteps. When friends or family approach my door, I know who's about to knock. I love creeping them out by saying, come in, name here. The removal of stains. I like to use lots of bleach and get the, oh, you must be used to cleaning up the murder scenes. A, I like the smell of it. B, if I was cleaning up a murder scene, there are way better chemicals than bleach. Maintaining composure during a crisis. Do it too much and people think you lack sympathy and are a sociopath. I used to be a dispatcher for home hearing fuel in Juneau, Alaska, and when I meet people, I'd say, Oh, you live such and such street. I get an uncomfortable silence from them and have to tell them, We deliver your oil. I work. Picking up on small details and remembering them for months. My friends are always like, how did you possibly remember that? Remembering someone else's schedule. I've had people get a little freaked out when I ask how a specific appointment slash task is going when I remember them telling me about it days prior. Not me, but someone I know once mentioned to me back in their high school days they were suspected of being a snitch because they would always be inclined to leave right before the bust happened. It wasn't that the guy was a snitch. He'd say that sometimes he just got a feeling or he knew when a party was just dead. Some sort of sixth sense for this. Every time he got around to leaving, his buddies would usually follow suit, since they were usually the ones dealing anyway. Being a very persuasive salesperson. Ugh, if someone is too convincing, I just assume they're trying to scam me. Running in high heels. Knife sharpening. Unless you're a chef. Edit. Yes, I get it, people. Butchers too. Whistling. I can whistle the Android text tone and it freaks people out. I look at license plates. I don't know why, but it's every day for me. But for some reason, I pretty much had the license plate of the girl I liked memorized. It was easy to remember and we worked the same place together every day, so I saw it a lot. One time I almost slipped and said, Hey, were you driving out in blank today? And almost mentioned that the truck's license plate looked just like hers. Remembering names. Oh, hi, Beth. Remember me? We sat on a bench together for like five minutes about a year ago. Gets maced. Cleaning blood from things. 
Every woman, especially moms, should have some ability here, but be able to help someone cleaning up after an accident or injury and get these surprised looks and side eyes. Hubby's in the EGA branch of the U.S. military. Within a month of being married, his whole shop was bringing bloodied uniforms to our house. F. Touch football and kitchen accidents, read effery, but thank God for baking soda. So by an incidental combination of being a gearhead and at one time a tow truck driver, I am a little more observant when it comes to cars than most. I also have an act for numbers and memorizing things unintentionally. I've stopped mentioning to people that I saw their car somewhere or other, the movies for example. It's awkward explaining that I know your plate and can spot your POS Sentra from across the parking lot. Lying. Being a good liar means you don't raise suspicion. Noticing details about people. I've moved around a lot and have worked in a lot of industries, one being in tourism. If I'm a tour guide and I notice a particular brand of clothing and ask someone if they're from a particular place and am right, it's me being observant and leads to a fun discussion. If I do the same thing in line getting coffee, it's considered creepy. I have very fast reading comprehension. People never believe me when I say that I've already read it and get frustrated that I don't take longer. I can't do simple math, but I read like lightning. I'm also very good with card handling, so everyone suspects that I cheat at poker. I encourage that because it keeps their eyes on my hands and not my face. Doing my job, property management, and me being a flake, used to lose forget my keys a lot. I've gotten really good at quickly breaking into houses and apartments. In freshman year of high school, a teacher accused me of cheating on a test because I finished it too quickly. Ironically, the test was on test-taking strategies. Anything borderline fancy with twirling knives. I carry and use my pocket knives quite often and have picked up ways to easily handle them. People either assume that I'm full weeb or a serial killer. Opening a beer without a proper bottle opener. No, no, I definitely don't practice this multiple times a day. Being able to measure somewhere between 5 to 9 inches using some arbitrary references on your hand. Just tonight my friend asked how long 8 inches is. My exact reference and quick conversion to centimeters was definitely looked at with suspicion. Sex. If you're too good, people will assume you've had a lot of it and are therefore a S. If you're good enough, they won't have the brain power to question anything. Interrogating someone without them knowing. I was at a school thing and one of my girl classmates really liked a guy but was too nervous to talk to him. She asked me to figure out some of his info and I ended up getting first name, last name, school, hobbies, and grade level. She was happy but more than a little creeped out about how casually I did it. Knowing the precise limits of what the law requires or prohibits. Being able to count money really fast. The ability to get into locked buildings. I've had my mom ask if I'm a burglar and also said I'm useful for when she's locked out. Hand washing. If you go above the wrist and you're not a surgeon, I'm going to kill you before you kill me. Apparently knowing drug names. I once told somebody that they could mix ibuprofen and acetaminophen because they don't F with each other and they thought I was a drug dealer for the longest time. Shake my head. Yes, why do people think this is so weird? I'm not going to learn 30 brand names when it comes to one chemical name unless there's something special about one brand over the other in terms of effectiveness. I once went to a science convention thing and they had a rectoscopy simulator there. It was this camera snake cable thing that you fed into a butthole in the machine and a screen showed a fake camera feed from the tunnel, colon. I got such a good score that the woman at the booth said, you must have done this before. Edit. I guess it's called a colonoscopy. Anyway, most embarrassing high score. As a guy being good at undoing a bra with one hand while making out with a girl. If you do this too smoothly, she may suspect that you are a player. Best to fumble at it clumsily until it pops open. But don't fumble so much you ruin the moment. It's a delicate balance. Getting over bad feedback or negative events. I have a rule that if something bad happens at work, I can be upset for 20 seconds, then move on. Not let it bother me except to fix it if needed. People seem to think that makes me a bit psychopathic. I work at a university where students lock their keys in their cars on a daily basis. If you are unlocking cars five to ten times a week, every week for years, it's an everyday talent. By the way, one of the hardest cars to break into for me was an old Saturn. Something about the way the door fit into the frame of the car made it very difficult. Unintentional memorization. Passwords, pins, garage door codes, zip codes, just random numbers, I remember it all. But for the life of me, I cannot remember your name even if you said it two minutes ago. Butchering. I worked professionally with raptors, the feathered kind, not the clever girl kind, and for a while I was preparing on average 15 quail a day, from frozen thawed to plucked and gutted and portioned. It's useful in the kitchen too for ducks, turkey, chicken, I've also processed venison before. 
Please leave your story in the comments. I would love to make a video on them in the future. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe.